We fucking blew it again. That playoff pipe dream is now completely over. I knew damn well this shit was going to happen. This game played out exactly like the Monday Night Tampa game did. Literally the exact same finish. Maybe they got their scripts crossed up. But seriously, how the fuck did we lose this game? The Rams only had Wagner and Jalen Ramsey. There was literally no one else on that team. We jump out to an early lead. It's 10-0. I'm like, this game's going exactly like I thought it was going to. And then in comes Baker fucking Mayfield to ruin our day. And after only signing with the team for two days and not knowing anybody, comes in and goes 22-35 and 35 for 230 yards. Plus a last-minute game-winning touchdown throw. And then having to listen to the announcers the entire freaking game talking about how it's not going to be the movie ending that everyone's expecting. Baker's in way over his head right now. And then it plays out exactly like a fucking movie. With Baker being the new star in LA. It's complete bullshit. And either one of two things happened. One, the NFL really is a scripted out piece of shit that they know what's happening week to week. Or two, and this one I think is way more likely, Baker's ass had that playbook a week and a half ago. Then asked for his release, and the only team that put a waiver claim on him was the Rams. And then he comes in and gets to play hero, not knowing shit about that offensive system, shit about McVay, or shit about what's been happening with that team. There's no chance. The officials for this game were a complete joke. Terrible penalties called on both teams, but they were able to completely control this game every single step of the way. Every single time the Raiders had a chance to close this shit out, there was some bullshit penalty that left the door open for the Rams to make their comeback. And that is not the first time this season that exact shit has happened to us. I know, there are still people sitting out there like, 9-8 could get us into that 7 spot and still squeak into the playoffs. That shit isn't going to happen for us. There's some shady bullshit going on in the NFL right now, and the Raiders are not a part of it. And if you refuse to see that, and you think that all this shit is just completely legitimate, you've lost your fucking mind. I'm livid, bro right now. We know shit should have had about 30 holding calls in that game and we got like two. The announcers of the game were even commenting on how many times Max Crosby was getting held on a play-to-play -play basis. Then they started making jokes about that shit and we just had to all sit there and accept that it was happening and nobody was doing shit about it. They were even holding Chandler Jones the majority of this game and his ass isn't even a threat. It's unreal. First getting beat by Jeff Saturday was bad enough but now losing to a quarterback that's been on the team for two days and doesn't have a single fucking other star on that offensive side of the ball and they still come out and make a huge comeback and beat us by one in the fourth quarter with no time left take that Bobby Boucher bullshit back to the film room please tell me I'm wrong I knew damn well we weren't going to win out the rest of our games and go 10 and 7 but it was cool as shit to jump on that train and ride that shit for a minute but this was not the game that we were supposed to lose I guess the only bright side that we had to look at is that the Patriots are completely imploding the Chargers are beat down as shit like they always are by the end of the season and the Jets are still the Jets. So maybe, maybe there is a small possibility that 9 and 8 will squeak you in there. But I don't think this fucking team can go 9 and 8. You can't even beat the fucking Rams that have no one. And the absolute worst part of this loss, and this is the last thing that I want to say, everybody that has called and texted me and hit me up on Twitter and shit like that, just to ask me if Derek Carr was crying once again at the end of this game, fuck you. But yeah, he probably was. I don't know, you can obviously tell that I'm still pretty pissed off about this one. And we're just going to have to see how the rest of this shit plays out. At least we got a little bit of time off and maybe we can get some of our players back and actually finish this thing out strong. We got about a 50-50 shot. I'll catch y'all in a few days, I'm out.